Hi everyone, welcome to Stampin' Storytellers. Today is video three of my Sweet Strawberry online class. This class includes the bundle, a full pack of rhinestones, some extra goodies, and five make and take projects. Um, video one and two were these little projects here. Um, a happy birthday card, or you can change the sentiment to um, be uh, thank you or just because. And then this little treat box, it has little strawberry candies inside. So go back on my YouTube channel and check those videos out. Today we are making another fun strawberry project. I will show you here. This is a version of, um, my version of a case of one of the examples in the catalog. And a really fun inside as well. Um, I really like the red and black. So I've done a lot of the stamping ahead of time um, just to save time on the video, but you can pause and then stamp and then pause me again and that will <laughs> work out. So on in your kit, there's two pieces of Whisper White. One is five and a quarter by four, that's the inside layer. And then the one for the inside is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So this is the one that we're going to stamp on first. Um, I guess we're going to sponge on it first and then we will stamp on it. So if I put my cardstock straight up and down, I'm going to put my stencil at an angle. These um, stencils or masks are in our annual catalog and using Granny Apple Green and a blending brush. I had these blending brushes before Stampin' Up! came out with theirs. Um, I know they're currently on back order, but they will be back. So you rub it on your ink pad and I'm going to start off the paper and just go in a circular motion and I'm not going to do the whole thing all the way to the edge. So that looks good. So I'll lift that up and show you. That's how it looks. Then I'm going to take my stencil and move it down and over just a little bit and more ink on my brush and go over top of that area. Still not going all the way down to the edge and all the sides of my cardstock. And you can peel it back and check it. So now it's kind of like an optical illusion. There, so I have two layers of ink We're using the same stencil. Then also in, no, I think I used Old Olive. We'll switch greens and use Old Olive and ink up the vine or the plant part of it and stamp at the top and flip it over and one at the bottom. While I have that color out, I'm going to do the inside as well one at the bottom and one at the top then back to this layer on a scrap of whisper white you're going to stamp five strawberries in memento black and then fill it in with the solid image here in real red. One trick for stamping in real red, I know, or pinks, it really stains your stamp and when they're photopolymer like this. If you ink up in Versamark first and then do all your stamping in real red and then you can clean it off, and mine still has a tinge to it but it's not nearly as pink or red as um, it would be if I hadn't stamped in Versamark first. Also on Whisper White, I have done the stems in Old Olive on both um, both layers, the fill-in image and the outline image. Now I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Trimmer and using the scoring blade, I'm just going to line up two of these centered on my track. Oh, that felt like it cut it did cut it. I pushed too hard. One second. I have this special goodie 
little goodie bag of extra strawberry pieces for when I'm designing classes. And I have extra punches or die cuts. I always keep them in a little stamp case so that I can keep them together and reuse them after. Line those up and not push as hard. And I've just scored down the center of both. Now fold this in half. This is to make a 3D strawberry. Now, oh, maybe I needed three of them. Bring your trimmer out again and do a third one. I was thinking I only needed the sides, but I need three. So now I can adhere all those together with, um, I always use Tombow for everything, but you can use your regular tape runner, stamp and seal, or stamp and seal plus. I think this would be okay with regular stamp and seal. And layer that third one on. And really squeeze them together to make sure they're adhered nicely. And now I have a 3D little strawberry. And then the other two we don't need to score. So I'll take my sentiment strip. I have embossed in white embossing powder on black cardstock. I'll make that a flag end. And adhere that. Yeah, let's do it first. Then I know where it's going to be. We're going to slip that right on there and trim off the excess. Now I can do my strawberries. So I'll lay one there. This one just under the edge of that tag. And then here's my 3D one right there. Now for our little stems, these ones can just go on flat, just like that. And doesn't that look fun already? Then this one, I'm actually going to take a glue dot and roll it up into a little log and only put the glue dot on the stem so I have it just like that then I can bend the stem up and I'm going to adhere it right there so when the recipient gets their card it will still stand up to mail you can still squish it down but then when it pops out of the envelope it will stand up off the card we can adhere that layer onto our real red layer. That's five and a quarter by four. And add that one to our card base. Then our inside layer, I am going to stamp one more sentiment that says that was so sweet of you in mento black. And I'm just gonna stamp it, kind of overlapping some of those leaves at the bottom. Now I'll adhere that layer on the inside. And then we can embellish. So you'll need your basic rhinestone jewels and a length of this linen, your braided linen trim that was in our holiday catalog and it is still available. So there we go. So now that I have my bow tied, I'm going to fluff out 
the loops because you can kind of stretch it out and then it makes it a fuller bow. It's kind of finicky, but it is well worth it. Then do the ends. And you want to fluff it out before you trim it to make sure that you have enough length because when you pull it apart, the it, it shrinks it. So you want to make sure that your ends are long enough. There we go. So a nice full bow. And then I'll adhere that onto one of our strawberries with a glue dot. Right like that. Then bring out your rhinestones and your take your pick tool and add some rhinestones to these flowers. And there we go, a really fun strawberry card. You could change the sentiment to make it um, for any occasion. And nice spring summery card for you. I hope you like it. If you like my video, please give me a like or a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow to more viewers. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to purchase any products, head over to my blog, stampinstorytellers.blogspot.com. Remember that celebration ends the end of February this year. It doesn't go for three months. So I think right now you have about a week left. Um, my current host code is listed on my blog and my Facebook page. For every um, person that puts in an order using my host code, we'll receive a free make and take packet in the mail as well. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.